In this video, we're going to take a look at some formatting options for formatting an entire table in Word 2019. So this is the document from our previous video. And I think what I'm going to do here is just select this entire one and tell Word that I want to delete the entire table. So we've got a table now that has some text in it. If we look at this table, we see that across the top we have some headings and down the side we have some headings and we've got some totals down here at the bottom. When you select a table, the table design and table layout tabs appear. We're going to take a look at the table design tab. There's a huge table style section here that has a bunch of preformats for tables. And then we've got some options over here that we can turn off and on. And let's take a look at what some of our options are. And we've got some options up here called grid tables and some down here called list tables. And they don't look all that much different. Fortunately, there's a thumbnail here for each one of these. Uh, they also do a live preview, although it's hard to see with our document hidden behind here. But um, So just look at these previews, and when you find what you want, go ahead and select it. I'm going to select this one. And you notice each one has a name as well. So if somebody gives you a name for a table format, you can find it just by pausing the mouse over any one of these thumbnails. So I'm going to pick this one. And what we get is the first row, which was dark up here, is also dark. And so that's telling us that we've got some column headings at the top. Uh, the first column has is also dark blue, and that is what it looked like up here. And that tells us that we have some headings going down the side as well. The rest of it is banded uh, with dark blue and light blue. So it's easy to read across a row with the colored bands. And over here on the left, we've got some table style options. These are checkboxes that you can turn on and off. And three of these are already turned on. We've got header row turned on. We've got banded rows turned on. And we've got first column turned on. So uh, the header row, if I turn that off, it makes the first row look like all of the other ones. But I want that to look different. So I'm going to turn that on. And not only does it change the background, but it also makes the text bold. There is banded rows. I'm going to turn that off and now all the rows look the same so we're going to turn that back on because it's much easier to read across a row if you've got colored bands. Then we've got first column. First column makes the first column look different and when you turn that off it looks like everything else in the row. This is a column of headings so we want that to look different so I'm going to turn first column back on. Now you notice there are three other options over here. One is for a total row. And I do have totals down here at the bottom, so that's something you might want to look different if you do. You can turn that on. And now this is uh, bold, just like the top row, bold with a dark background. We also have the option for making the last column look different. We've got totals here if you want the last column to look different. And we've got an option for banded columns. Let's click on that. And now it bans every other column in a dark, or not dark blue, but a light blue. And the alternate rows are in an even lighter blue. I'm going to turn off banded rows here so you can see what that really does. It just makes every other column a different color. That's not as useful most of the time as having banded rows. So I'm going to turn banded rows back on and we're going to turn um, banded columns off. So those are the options. Uh, if you don't like the defaults that you get up here, uh, you can go in and you can turn these things on or off and make your table look pretty much any way you want it to look within the options for that particular table style.